Battlefield 6 is here. And now that the free Battle Royale part is out, I figured I should make another video on how to lower CPU usage. Because you can. Like looking in the menu right now, I'm in like 35, almost up at 40. So we're gonna go in and start a match. And we'll see what the CPU's at. And then I'll show you what to do to fix it. Now, if you've seen other videos from me on how to fix the CPU usage, it's the same thing. But since this is free to play, I figure we might be getting more players and it might be good to share solution with others. I didn't mean to pick mechanic or engineer. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. The main thing is to keep an eye on the upper right on the CPU utilization. in this game and it's a lot higher than it needs to be and if you get a lower CPU utilization it'll lower the temps give you a little bit more headroom if you want to do stuff like watch a video while you play or stream listen to music so there are a lot of people whose CPUs get pinged to 100% from Battlefield why it's that way, but it is. So we'll drop in, we'll run around for a little bit, and then we'll quit. And I'll show what the fix is, and then we'll try another match and see if there is any change. My teammate's yeah, gonna hate me. On area. Don't let any of them get out of there alive. I'll send up if you need it. I'm the leader. Well, you can see it's at like 50% now. Over deployment. We're jumping out. We're going over here. It's hard to see the percent, the CPU percent. Damn it. Hold on, I might be able to fix that. Large, there. Up to like the 60s. Have a look and knock out what you can. Oh, and we're dead. Okay. Oh. oh, yeah, we're real, real dead. Okay. So it was about 60. Let's see if we can fix it. So it's pretty simple. All you got to do is go to Notepad. And I've already got mine made here. So it's going to be these five lines. And I'll put them in the description. And the main thing, you just copy. You can copy all of this and paste it into Notepad. 
but you're going to have to change these values. 8, 8, 16. See, for me, that's what I use for my uh, CPU. Go to Task Manager. Then go over here to the Performance and CPU. And your cores and logical processors are what you want to put in here. So for, for, my, for me, it's co 8 cores, 16 processors. So you put 8, 8, and 16. Now say yours is 10 and 20. You put 10, 10, and 20. Now I have heard that on some of the newer Intel CPUs, you only want to put the P cores here. No, not the E cores. So I hope that makes sense. Now what you do then is you go here and you do save as. And you're going to take it to wherever you install your Steam games. Mine are here. Go to Steam library. Steam apps. Common. Battlefield 6. Change this down to all files. And you change this, you save it, mine already has the name, but you save it as user.cfg. I did a capital U, I don't think that's necessary. But you save it in there. Close out of everything. And then let's get back into the game. And see if it's any better. I'll try to drop in the same area that I did before. You. Oh, that's so weird. It's crazy. So in the menu, it's already better. Getting down to the 20s instead of mid 30s, almost 40. See if it's helped. And I was flying from a different angle, so I won't be able to tell exactly where it is. Oh, exactly the same spot. Get ready to jump. Hostiles are dropping into the target area. Need to be stopped. All point, you hustle. Smoke everyone down there. This doesn't look like the same area at all. Combat training. You are good to Golf go to course. Deploy. Call it. Where was it? The defense nexus? Up 
Well, look, it's down into the 40s. It was about 60 before. Heads up. Mission updates just came in. definitely helped so go ahead try out the file I'll put the uh, again the lines in the description just go to notepad save it as a user that's CFG and with all luck it'll make your CPU performance a little bit better please let me know if this works and if it does help Consider giving a like and subscribing. Have a good day and take care of yourself.